Hey, good morning, folks. We made it to Friday, right? I'm live chief meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Things really looking up in the weather category. Uh, we could use a rain in a lot of places, and it's going to be pretty skimpy for northern and central and western lower Michigan. And like I said, the rain increases in intensity somewhat and coverage this, this evening, really. You'll see in the southeast, Ann Arbor, Flint, the thumb, eastern part of the thumb, the Detroit area. I'll show that to you in just a moment, too. Uh, you know, we've had these little glancing chances of frost, and now the momentum seems to be warmer temperatures, and so that glancing chance of frost is backing off. And as a result, I think frost is probably done. I'll show that to you. And, uh, you know, are we in the 80s by the holiday weekend? That's looking a little more likely as well. So start off with the radar. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. Um, this is not really a big rain, as you could see. And at this time of the day, the rain dissipates. Look at the yellows around Muskegon to Big Rapids. Notice how that shrinks. The sun gets on top of the clouds and dissipates the rain some. And then late afternoon and evening, that usually increases, and that's what you see on this radar forecast. You'll notice that uh, the, the rain will be pretty skimpy, 11 o'clock, noon, almost drying up. And I would agree with this model forecast based on the intensity right now or lack thereof of the line of showers. And this is one o'clock and two o'clock and three o'clock. So you get some showers around Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, Saginaw, Bay City, Midland um, in the early afternoon. And then this is four o'clock and five and six. And all of the models all along have shown about six, seven, eight o'clock. The rain area increases. Same area it's been showing increases over the last I don't know, five, six days. And the timing on this has not changed almost at all for eight days now, right? Uh, so you got some steady light to moderate showers from the Thumb through maybe Flint, Oakland County, Ann Arbor, Detroit, eight o'clock this evening. So you will turn wet, eight, nine, ten. And then it moves off. And we were showing you uh, some models that had quite a wraparound of rainfall for tomorrow. It doesn't look like that's going to really be the case now as we get closer to it. This is 4 in the morning on Saturday. So the back side, the colder side, has this chilly shower activity that wraps around into the northeast. And now we're at 10 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow really looks like the only wet area is the northeast corner of lower Michigan. How much? Well, the rain weakens. So as it comes through the Saginaw area and Grand Rapids, it doesn't do much, a few hundreds. And then I showed you how it increases in coverage and intensity. So uh, the Thumb, Sanilac County, uh, St. Clair County, Oakland County, maybe down toward the Lansing area, you could get a half inch of rain or maybe a little more and then it weakens again in Ann Arbor and Detroit, looking at three, four, five tenths of an inch of rain. All right, now let's look out into the future. And remember, what I've been tracking for you is these, is these cold blobs in northeastern Canada that drop into the northeast, and we get on the very back edge of it. We had that uh, yesterday morning when we had a pretty heavy frost in the thumb, the, just on the edge of the cold air. But now you'll see those cold air masses don't quite have that punch. Not enough for me to say that we'll have a frost. So I say you're probably in lower Michigan, you're probably safe at going ahead and uh, planting just about anything that you want. Uh, some of those seeds are still gonna need a little bit warmer soil, but you could probably put them in. Uh, Beverly, Matsko, good day to put down weed killer down in Flushing. Um, I would say wait, because that needs to be on there a while, dry on there a while for it to 
uh, be effective. So I'd wait until tomorrow. Um, so here is the forecast into Sunday looks dry. There's that glancing blow that could have come at us on Monday morning, but notice it's off to the northeast several hundred miles. And then here's the next glancing blow, and it doesn't even come anywhere close to us. It goes up into Maine. We're at the Thursday of next week with no rainfall. Now we're into Friday. Wow, that would be, this would be, quite honestly, if this bears out, it would be a stellar Memorial Day weekend. This is Saturday. We're in a southwesterly flow. The temperatures are warming aloft. This is Sunday. And, um, you know, maybe late Memorial Day, according to this, we could have some shower activity. Let's see. All right, so highs today, 75 to near 80 in the southeast half. Saginaw, Lansing, Ann Arbor, Detroit. Tomorrow, a little cooler, mid to upper 60s. J.J. Johnson, 6.30 baseball game in Mayville. Will we get it in before the rain? Um, Probably not. Let's just go back. I mean, this is baseball, so I'm all about baseball. If you were asking me about soccer, I wouldn't even take a look at it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there's 6 o'clock. There's 7 o'clock. I'm going to say you're probably going to have showers around Mayville. I don't know that they'll be substantial, but I think you will have showers. Temperatures. Uh, so Saturday is a little bit cooler in the 60s. Sunday jumps right back to, you know, 75 to flirting with 80 degrees. A little cooler in the Northland, Traverse City, Charlevoix, Petoskey, 70-ish. Monday in the 70s. Tuesday, trying to get some spots in the low 80s. And again, remember, wind direction will make all the difference. I've always told you that I think... I feel like when we get one of these first initial model forecasts of warmer temperatures, we get a backdoor cold front to sneak in and a northeast wind develops. And then you say, where did that go? That can happen. That could happen this weekend. We need an established southwesterly flow to not have it happen. If we get warmth on just a light wind pattern, it usually it spells the lake uh, front coming in or the cold front from the northeast. But nonetheless, we are warming. Uh, it's just what, what will the wind do and what will that do to our temperatures in specific? And what's the smoke going to do? That's going to be a bugaboo for us because thick smoke is going to lower the temperature several degrees, probably by about three to five. So this is Tuesday. Then Wednesday tries to indicate a little bit of a northeast wind. Then back to Thursday into the 70s. Then Friday into the 80s. Then Saturday, uh, you know. And again, this model can, I feel, become extreme at the ends. It could be either cold extreme or hot extreme, depending on what the trend is. Um, but it probably means that we get into the 80s on Saturday. And a Sunday we get into the 80s as well, most likely. Um, six to ten day forecast. And they're pretty good experts at this, and they feel that we're going to have ourselves above normal temperatures into May 28th, drier normal conditions, and 8 to 14 day into June 1st, above normal temperatures, below normal precipitation. So... There you have it. Things are looking up. We could use a, shot, use a shot of rain. The only one that gets really decent rain comes in the evening hours. Ann Arbor, Oakland County, Detroit area, uh, Sanilac County, Lapeer County, maybe part of Genesee County as those showers uh, increase some for whatever reason this evening. And prior to that, it's just spotty showers, which will miss a lot of places and you will continue to be dry. So thanks for joining me. Have yourselves a great weekend. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update.